you mind helping Daddy with the chicken fricassee, please? We're going to start off with browning all the chicken off nicely. Pan on. Get that nice and hot. What I want you to do for me first is to season the chicken with salt and pepper, please. Thank you. So that's on one side. Then we turn the chicken over. So we season it on the other side. Salt, good girl, and pepper. Nice. Now, this is almost like a chicken stew. Mm -hmm. OK. What's that there? Mm, thyme. Thyme. Good girl. That What's that one? one there? That one's rosemary. That's right, rosemary. And because this is quite a rustic French dish, we don't need to chop everything. So we get the garlic and you just bash it like that. Now smell. Mmm. Ooh. Right. So that's nice and hot. Put a tablespoon of olive oil in there, a couple of lugs. One, two, good girl. Put the chicken in. And you lay away. You get it nice and brown. You're getting good at this. You are. Skin side down. So we get the colour on the skin. Now, I just want you to cut the mushrooms in half for Daddy, please. Thank okay, you. these are chestnut mushrooms. Watch there are please. lots of different types of mushrooms, aren't there? There are lots and lots of different types of mushrooms. You sprinkle the pancetta over the chicken, please. Good girl. Nice. Can I get the mushrooms in? Not yet, because I'm going to get some colour on the chicken first. Okay. And as that pancetta starts to cook down, it puts a really nice flavour on the chicken. Yeah. So we're sort of soaking everything, OK? Right, garlic in, please. Good girl. Just throw them in. And I want you to sprinkle the mushrooms on top of that. Good girl. And then there's the rosemary. OK, you get your fingers like that and you pull it down. You take it all off. Hold it. Pull it down. Good girl. So now you've got the nice little rosemary sprigs. I want you to do the same with the thyme. Now, the thyme flower is a little bit smaller. So, bay leaf in. I'd like you to put that rosemary okay. and thyme in there, please. Lovely. Sprinkle it over. Right. I'd like you to stand back now because we're going to flambe this. I do not want to get those little slippers caught on fire. What are their names? Rumpo and Judith. Judith. Nice. OK, great. Ready? Yeah. In with the brandy. And then just tilt the pan gently. Whoa. Ooh. Whoa. How cool is, is that? magical. Beautiful. A bit like a cauldron. All the cognac has been flambe, so there's no raw alcohol anywhere. So we've got a really nice, deep, rich flavour. I'm going to add my chicken stock. You know, Rumpel likes that. Not my slipper, Rumpel. Rumpel the dog. Ah, Rumpel the dog. Well, he likes chicken stock. Yes, when he's a good boy, he gets, um, he gets it in his, um, with his biscuit. It's gone in, like, wow, really quickly. Simmer and reduce the stock for around 10 minutes. Now, what I'd like you to do is to chop Daddy some parsley. Now my hands have got lots of different flavours. Nice, they've got all those wonderful <laughs> flavours. You could almost be French. Mm. Huh? Matilda, sprinkle that on there. Good girl. Nice. Merci beaucoup. Yeah, yeah. Nice. I can tell Jack's going to love this. Is he? I could smell that even before you took the lid off. Let's go, my darling. Good job, by the way. Thank you. I can't wait for the others to try it. I hope they love it. What a